Hey guys, uh, back with another rope test. I literally just did the S90V. Uh, I've done mostly really high end steel so far, so I want to do kind of a ubiquitous steel. Uh, still a very, very, very good steel, but one that most people have used before, and that's CPM S90V. And this time it's in a paramilitary 2. This will be the third paramilitary 2 I've tested. Uh, this is the black blade version with camo G10 handles. And uh, it's got a polished edge at 36 degrees inclusive with no micro bevel. So this should be pretty interesting. I don't expect it to do poorly by any means. But I do think that uh, it won't do nearly as well as, as the S90V, of course. Uh, I mentioned in my last video that it, this was moving around, so I have two silicone pot holders here to try and keep my workspace from uh, moving around. I think that's going to do a pretty good job. And in the interest of not having huge uh, files, I'm going to go ahead and start. Very sharp, extremely sharp. Uh, this is a hair whittling edge. I verified that before I started the video. It's not demonstrable how I have the camera set up, so can't show you. It is hair whittling. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I looked stupid in my last video because I couldn't do some simple math while I was cutting. Uh, it does equal out to be 216 cuts roughly depending on the length of uh, the, the length of my cut the space between the end of the rope and uh, my actual cut I'm trying to keep it like half an inch but of course I'm human so there will be some variation but it should be right over 200 cuts I'm going to go ahead and test the edge. I'm guessing that uh, S30V will do a lot better than most people are anticipating because S30V honestly doesn't get the praise that it, it deserves. It's a very, very good steel. And uh, I mean, it's one of the few steels that was actually designed to be used in knives. It, it was... Uh, a collaboration between Crucible and Chris Reeve. I'm sure most of you have heard of that guy. So it's a very, very fine cutlery steel. Very stain resistant and it does hold its edge for a very, very long time. So I'll go ahead and test it again. I'm going to test it more frequently than the other steels. Still, still got that foam book paper slicing edge. There's something stuck to the edge, I think. It's giving me a little hiccup, but it's still very sharp. I'm going to go ahead and toss the swarf. I don't know if swarf is correct, the correct nomenclature for that, but whatever. I'm going to go ahead and resume the cutting. I don't have many ideas after this, so let me know what you guys want to see next. I'm going to try and figure out a way to do the tilt, but I can't do it with this format. Uh, thinking about doing the Native 5, that's S35VN, uh, but you guys let me know what you, what you want to see. I could do the Military and CTS XHP. I could do the ZT301 and S30V. It would obviously differ from this because the, the edge geometry is different. Uh, still easily phone book paper slicing sharp. Easily. Not much resistance at all. Still a very sharp edge. And this is what I figured. Uh, S30V holds its edge for a really long time and it's 
much better than most people would have ever imagined. So I'm going to go ahead and check my focus. I think we're perfect. Still cutting very easily. It's not taking much effort at all. Any of you guys that don't use your knives much, I really recommend going to Lowe's and picking up some rope. It's like 40 cents a foot, and you can have a lot of fun with it. I know carrying knives around in your pocket's fun, but if you never really get to see what they're made of, you never really know what you're carrying. Still, easily phone book slicing sharp, which is surprising, very surprising because the M4 at this point was having some issues if I remember correctly. That's pretty surprising. That even surprises me. I'm going to continue on. I'm trying to use as much of the blade as I can. I'm starting way back here. That's 72 inches of rope, roughly. Going to go ahead and check on the phone book paper. <laughs> That's uh, unexpected. It's having a, a little bit of a problem. There's still some very sharp very sharp spots near that tip. Uh, I don't know what I would call this. I don't know if it's a, quite a phone book paper slicing edge. I think I'm going to call it, I'm going to say it's it's no longer a phone book slicing, phone book paper slicing edge. Uh, so I can put that aside. I'm going to save one piece just in case. But of course it's still still going to be printer paper slicing easily so let's see if it shaves hair at this point it does not which is expected but I do want to mention that uh, the decrease in sharpness is not really felt in the cutting I feel no appreciable difference in cutting performance. Now I'm starting to feel a difference. So Yeah, it's too far gone for that. There are some uh some spots in there that are still sharp enough to cut foam work paper. I do want y'all to know that just because it's not shaving sharp and just because it's not foam book paper slicing sharp doesn't mean it's not sharp. 
that would still cut the fire out of you if you were to get the edge wrong. So, yeah, it's it's still sharp enough to uh, hold on my thumbnail with just the weight of the edge. And that's how normal people, not normal people, but that's how people normally test sharpness is if it will catch their thumbnail. And that's normally their sharp edge. That's what they test right after off they're coming off the stone. So, it's still very sharp. I'll tell you one thing, with the tip being, or the, the clip being in this tip up position, it is giving me a hot spot. This is the second knife I've done, so, I mean, I've done over 400 cuts tonight. That's a good bit of cutting, but I'm just now starting to get a hot spot. So I would say overall, a very comfortable knife because I get hot spots with some knives pretty much instantly. Last cut. And let's test it. Still very easily. You can hear my dogs, can't you? Still very easily uh, printer paper slice and sharp, and that's with the front portion of the blade. Of course, back here, I'm sure you can hear that. You hear that difference? That's near the ricasso. That's near the tip. So it's much louder near the tip. I'll do it again. Near the ricasso near the tip. I'm going to go ahead and slice through the whole length of the edge. There you go. Alright, roughly uh, 9 feet of rope with the S30V uh, Paramilitary 2. And uh, it did really well, a lot better than a lot of people would imagine with S30V. It is definitely no slouch. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll see you next time.